personalize button here has uh, scenes that you can switch between. Right now I have the, uh, which one was it? Oh no, I'm screwing it up. The scenes are actually like setting up different home screens and ringtones and stuff for different wow. situations. The skins are skins. what change the look of it. Okay. I have slate, uh, but but David, you might like this. Ooh, the bubbly. It's all wood. <gasps> Woody. So the bar on the bottom is wood. Nice. The uh, notification bar on the top, all wood. Bang. That's the swank. clock. That is swanky. The widgets. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool stuff. It's wooded See this out. widget? It's all wood. Wow. So I had to show you that one because. That's good. You know. Because I love wood. So you got different you got different themes on here. Uh, if you pull down the, the bar, and I don't know if you saw that. Uh, some of these uh, oh, different cool. things are doing uh, like uh, the widgets or whatever up there. Mm -hmm. Samsung started. It's on CyanogenMod as well. Uh, this does recent apps. So you flip through it. You're on. Uh, I guess a good analog would be the double tapping the home button on iOS brings right. it along the bottom. Uh, this is always up here in the top. You just swipe it down and you can flip through all the apps that you recently opened. Hmm, taking some, a cue from Apple there, eh? Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, and they have, uh, the, of course the pinch gestures. Uh, what's cool about this is you can't find this on any home screen replacement. This only works on the regular Sense UI where you yeah. pinch and you, you get this Slide. preview. Yeah, this very smooth sliding uh, coming in. And then you want to go to a specific screen. Uh, this is the thing you can't do on any other home screen. You pinch in oh. on that screen like that. So you can't get that anywhere else. It's a pretty slick little animation. Or you can just tap. Yeah. I'd rather tap it. Yeah. But the pinching is very cool, you know, it especially is, because it's pretty cool. I can go here in the browser. Well, even the loading screen was a wood <laughs> loading bar. And you want to switch windows or, you know, do a, something else or whatever. You're right in the middle of reading something. You just keep pinching out and then it comes to your window interface. Nice. You can open up a new window. That's cool. And well. We'll go to break.com in this one. I knew it. Trying to see if I can load up something that is not a mobile site. Yeah, isn't that annoying? So we'll not go in here like you're reading this, you know, and then all of a sudden you want to zoom out, keep on zooming. You can flip back over here. So it's kind of a, it, it's a novel way That's to cool. uh, manage windows instead of having to hit menu and then uh, dig through your windows and figure out which one. Uh, the pinching is uh, is much more intuitive. So, uh, let's see. What was the other thing I wanted to mention on here? The uh, text zoom. So, if I go into Google Talk, we'll send a message to Brad. Oh, okay, Brad. I know it's my turn, but I'm broke till Friday. Aww. So, guess what that's a response to? <laughs> But we'll type some stuff here. Type Flowmaster. But they uh, since UI changes the, the that little uh, what do you call it cursor? Yeah. So like it, you can drag it around like you would on regular Android uh, gingerbread. You know now it has this kind of stuff. But this is two point two that this runs on, and you still get the the ability to drag a cursor around and have a. Uh, a magnifying glass and you also get that if you hold long press you know like the uh, Apple way where you hold down on where the text is and a little uh, bubble will pop up for you to move it around um, but then when you let go you have select text select all and input method this is all uh, much more like the Apple method for selecting text and copying and everything then uh, of course Apple you can't change your input method like you can on here on Android uh, but it's very different from uh, the regular Android experience so if you buy a sense UI device uh, you should know that just want to make that clear uh, in the app drawer uh, the last thing I want to talk about 
uh, they've made a lot of changes here. You don't just flick through and it does infinite scroll or whatever. Uh, it does one at a time, almost like the, uh, what is it, the TouchWiz UI from uh, Samsung where you it's a horizontal drawer that you flip through. Uh, but they stuck with the vertical here and made it uh, so that you flip through one section at a time. And they show you that there's your progress bar going down. Cool. And it's it keeps it in alphabetical order, which is more than what I can say for the default setting on TouchWiz, which totally sucks. Uh, but you can also go down here to and, and look at that the indicator for those uh, buttons. It's wood. Oh so, yes. Uh, your favorite apps, which would be uh, the apps that the system knows you use the most frequently. So you'll cool. be able to switch through here, see what I've been using it for. Uh, and then there's also a section uh, specifically for downloaded apps. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think this goes in reverse order so that the most recently downloaded, I believe, are at the very top. So that can be very handy too. Uh, and then, of course, the last one is the Verizon apps. So it comes with the the device, the nice uh, bundled slash bloatware, whatever. But kind of clever Verizon. Uh, it would be nice to see if they took some hints from like Motorola's design on uh, having links out to the App Store or even on these Verizon app ones. Have it automatically, uh, you know, have a link out to the Verizon Store. I mean, of course, the Verizon Store is in here, but it's yeah. the VCast apps or whatever. But I don't know, it just makes sense to me to put an extra link there. But of course, if it was there, I would complain about it. <laughs> about how they didn't need to. So, uh, yeah, this it's pretty much the same as any Sense UI thing that we've reviewed before. Of course, they they keep improving it, uh, Sense UI as as it goes on. So, a lot of things in here I like. Uh, of course, Sense UI is not for me. That's why I got rid of it on my Evo, and I use uh, Cyanogen Mod. There's a couple other things in there too that make it great, but yeah, you'll never catch me on a Sense UI device. So, and then that, I'm sure my next one will be now that I've said that. Of course. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. That's the, uh, the Droid Incredible review. Did you have any uh, anything you wanted to add to it, Dave? Well, it's uh, $149.99 on Verizon with a two-year contract. Is that what you – have you gotten to this yet? The prices? No. no. Yeah. Um, I haven't – I had a little bit of time to play with this. It's it's cool. It's nice. It's a solid – Android phone. It's no, it's no iPhone, huh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. There's something different about like this weird finish. Like it has almost two finishes here. There's like this flat mallet, like a matte metal finish on the bezel. Yeah. Around yeah. it. Yeah. And then there's like a rubbery finish on the back. I don't like the rubbery finish. I like the flat metal finish a lot. But that's very scratch. Like magnet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whoops, just scratched it. There you go. Just get the hangnail. Click. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I like it though. It's cool. It's solid. But like I say, if I, you know, if I, I didn't need an HDMI out, yeah, totally. uh, like this, I would have to say is probably the device I'd be using. Mm -hmm. This so, is what I'm telling my brother to get. Yeah, four inches. I mean, like the size is perfect. Um, these big phones, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wore out on them. Um, if you, you give me a four inch phone with HDMI screen mirroring, dual core, you know, front facing camera like this has, then, uh, I'd be fine with that. This only lacks the dual core. But. Yeah. And like I said, one forty nine ninety nine, so 150 bucks on Verizon with a new two year. Yes. Yes. And but even Amazon, cheaper though. Amazon once again, coming through, Ooh. they are knocking out of the park. One penny. Yes. One cent on Amazon with a two-year contract. Yeah. That's a pretty solid phone. Um, I mean, in two years, it's going to be kind of worn out, just to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just about any phone that you get is going to be worn out in two years. Yeah. So you might as well take the plunge. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think it's cool. All right. That is our review for the Droid Incredible 2. Yes. Thanks for uh, watching us this week. 
Mm -hmm. You can check out more of these reviews and some other stuff. Uh, we do do news shows every now and then too, uh, when we have time. Uh, yeah. But you can check. Yeah, we do do uh, the AndroidTechShow dot com uh, for all those needs. We have a link up on there to download our uh, Android Tech Show app, which is available on the market. 